In 1988, Montana rancher and rockhound Kathy Wonkel made an extraordinary discovery. A protrusion in the ground caught her eye, and she knew that this was no ordinary rock. Wonkel stumbled upon one of the most significant dinosaur finds of the last 50 years, a nearly complete skeleton of Tyrannosaurus rex. Dinosaurs roamed the Earth for over 165 million years, and many of them came in all shapes and sizes. Some species, like Argentinosaurus, grew as tall as a building. Others, like Nigersaurus, sported unusual heads and hundreds of teeth. And then there's T. rex, one of the fiercest predators of the Cretaceous period. It often grew to be 40 feet long, and weighed a whopping eight tons. The serrated teeth in its powerful jaws could punch holes in bone as it preyed on fellow dinosaurs like Triceratops. To this day, its prehistoric allure makes it a pop culture star, captivating audiences of all ages with its teeny tiny arms. But uh, back to Kathy Wonkel. Following her groundbreaking find, paleontologists from the Museum of the Rockies excavated and studied the fossiled remains. This discovery opened a window into the life of one of the largest land predators to ever walk the Earth. Despite its fame, there's still so much scientists don't know about T-Rex. How fast could it move? How did it hunt? And of course, what's the deal with the tiny arms? The fossils from the Wonkel T-Rex had some stories to tell. They're more than just old bones. They're also time capsules that tell incredible stories about the past. To determine this T-Rex's age, researchers cut the bone open and counted its rings. Yes, just like a tree. When it died, it was still a teenager, around 18 years old. Signs of injuries and healing hinted at the difficulties of daily life. It also confirmed how short, yet muscular, T-Rex forearms really were. Although, why that is remains up for debate. For decades, this T-Rex inspired visitors at the Museum of the Rockies, until 2013, when all seven tons of fossils were meticulously packed up and transported more than 2,000 miles to the Smithsonian's National Museum of Natural History in Washington, D.C. At the museum, scientists 3D scanned the fossils to allow paleontologists to study the specimen for generations to come. Next came the exciting puzzle of reassembly. The curators wanted to showcase the T-Rex's role as the apex predator of its 66 million year old ecosystem. Enter Hatcher, a beloved Triceratops. Hey guys. Today, in the Hall of Fossils, visitors can witness the newly rechristened Nation's T-Rex in all its glory. One massive foot dramatically poised atop Hatcher. But here's the fun part. It's a choose your own adventure story. Did the T-Rex attack and kill this Triceratops? Or has it just stumbled upon an already dead tasty meal? Fossils can only tell so much, and it's up to future paleontologists to keep studying and fill in the gaps. Is the nation's T-Rex a predator, a scavenger, or both? What do you think? Be sure to check out more exciting Smithsonian stories on another episode of National Treasure.